everyone, I'm Judy Elliott here with Candace Eaton with the Downtown Development Authority. And we are excited to be with you today because we're going to talk about all the great things that continue in downtown Dalton. Uh, today we're visiting at... We are at Dalton Green. It's just on the outskirts right before you start into the downtown area on Waugh and Thornton. And um, we are here at the farmer's market that continues to grow each year. And we're so thankful for these individuals that grow and produce and bring out their goods each week. Yeah, we've got a lot of people who grow some really wonderful vegetables and all the all the stuff. That homemade have. jellies, it's so good. Yeah. Well, um, in what days uh, did you say you're here? Farmer's Market, they are here on Tuesdays and Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Some of them pack up a little bit early, but no matter what time you get here, you're not going to miss out on anything. Yeah, they pack up because they're out of produce. That's right. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> Believe me, it goes fast, too. Yeah. I've been down here and it's like, oh, no, I lost out on that one. Yes, local honey, tomatoes, okra, corn, peaches. You name it, we've got it. Yeah. Or I, they've got it. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to talk about, um, you, you, you mentioned, I'm just looking over here, um, they do a lot of um, canned goods that they bring in too. Yes, ma'am. There's lots of um, homemade pickles. can pickles, jellies, okras, any, any kind of stuff that you can imagine they make it. We even have the flower chicks here every week with their homegrown flowers that are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm just looking at those. Those are gorgeous. Hey, it's a great idea to come by, pick up something for a friend or a neighbor and, and just take it to the house just because. Just because. The, you know, simple act of kindness yeah. goes a long way. If I, if I buy this, you come over and cook it. I will. <laughs> hey, that's a promise, huh? Um, so uh, I want to talk also about um, the summer series, concert series, because you've really, I mean, it has been a fabulous turnout in downtown Dalton. I've been to most all of them this summer. I've missed one or two, but Friday nights, it, fabulous. Friday concert. night, the place to be is downtown yep. Dalton. Bring your chair to the park, get your seat, go downtown, grab you some dinner, and then come back to the park for entertainment. Every Friday night, you know, we go through the first week in August and then we start, there's one in September, the third week in September, and we just have a great time. It's just, yeah. it's, it's all about the fellowship. Have right. a good time. And what I love about it also is the variety of different groups that come in. Yes. Because there's something really for everyone. Yep, there's a genre for everyone. And we try to reach all aspects of our community because it's not we're not just one. We're all. Right. And in addition to that, it's no cost to that. No cost. Come and have a good time. Yep, definitely so. Well, downtown Dalton, I hear so many people, so many people, Candace, that say things have really, really changed in downtown Dalton. If you go, if you come down on Friday, Saturday, any day of the week, any almost any evening, there's people here. Absolutely, and we love it. We love to see those people walk in the streets. Right, and there's new businesses coming in. Um, now, if someone is wanting to maybe rent or lease or something, a building. Absolutely, just give me a call. I keep a list of what we've got available, and I can put you in contact with those owners of those buildings and. We'll get you hooked up and let's start a business in downtown. That's right. And also, there's apartments. I mean, there's, there's apartments coming. The new boutique hotel will be open this fall that we just, we can't wait for. Yeah. Always something going on in downtown Dalton. I love it. I, I love the changes that are happening here. Uh, DDDA is doing a fabulous job, you guys, of making all this happen. And well, we love it and we're proud of it. And that is the heartbeat of our city is how we feel. So we just want everybody to come down and experience what love and home is all about. Right. And if you're seeing this also in other areas, other counties, uh, come down and truly experience downtown Dalton. Take a walk and see whatever you can find. That's that's great. Now, I, I know uh, when we talk about downtown Dalton, there is a variety of different businesses. Just kind of scan over the types of various businesses. Yes, ma'am. We've got anything from restaurants to boutiques to the general store to coin store of card, you know, baseball card collectors. There's hair salons, there's boutiques inside the hair salons, jewelry. there's jewelry, <laughs> there's pawn shops. I mean, you name it, uh -huh. you can find it. Right. There's no saying anymore, there's nothing to do anymore. Hey, that is a gone long a time ago. Yep. And most of our restaurants have live music on the weekends, so it's yeah. always, there's always something going on. Right. Trivia nights at local restaurants that I've heard have been pretty interesting. Karaoke, bingo, I mean, you name it. 
We've got it. Definitely so. Well, I want to go over here and do a little bit of shopping with the produce. Let's go get <laughs> okay, let's go and stay with us. We have more to come. Next stop will be Jeff Jefferson's. Yep. All righty. All right, now before we leave the farmer's market, I want to stop by here at the flower chicks. And I'm talking to one of the flower chick girls. Mm -hmm. You said there's six of you, right? There are six sisters in total, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's wow. crazy. My poor dad, but hey, we all get along. We do a good job, so. And your poor mom. Did. Yeah, <laughs> she wanted girls, so. Oh, well, anyway, so yeah. I'm glad you're here. Um, tell me about how you sell these and so what you have, actually. So we have some zinnias, we have uh, the mint, we have Lizzie Anthems, millet, forget-me-nots, and of course a lot of sunflowers, and we sell them by the bouquet, by the vase, and we can do, we can make them their own, or people can make them themselves, so it's really flexible, yeah. Well, I love it, and I, and I see over here you have the way that people can just, what, collect and make their own, you should mention. Yes, it is, um, and we also, like, I just started here today, but we I'll have the stand filled out, and you'll have... A, quite a bit of selection too. Okay, great. And do you grow these at home? Yes, we grow them in Ringgold, Georgia, and we have a beef farm. And in the hay field, we put out like about an acre or two, and that's where we grow everything. My goodness, you yeah. guys, you guys stay busy, don't you? We do <laughs> all the time. So, what time of year do you start pre prepping for all this? Um, we start prepping in about about like March, April, we'll start like putting them out in seed and like trays. And then about the end of April into May, we'll start planting them into the ground. And then that's when they'll bloom up and we cut them and we're good to go. Oh my goodness. And again, you said you will sell them as singles or pots or? Mm -hmm. We do like the bouquets. Okay. So kind of like what you see in the grocery stores, that's what we'll do. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And so you're here every Tuesday and Saturday? Yes, every Tuesday from 9 to 12 and every Saturday from 8 to 1. Okay, well, thank you so much yeah, for letting us you. stop by yeah. Flower Chicks. So yeah. come out and visit them here at the Farmer's Market. We'll yeah, see you in a second. You. Well, my next stop here in downtown Dalton, no other than Jefferson's, one of my very favorite places to stop in at and here with Jake. Uh, Jake, thanks for letting us come out with you today. I appreciate y'all coming. Like I said, it's been a it's been a great ride so far. We just hit our year anniversary in downtown Dalton, and I think we've loved every bit of it. Yeah, and you you have really done so much in here. Last time we were here, I think you were in kind of under construction, mm -hmm. and uh, of course I've been back a lot since then. But I mean, when we had our TV cameras here, we were like um, <laughs> in construction mode. Oh, so yeah. this is absolutely fantastic. Tell me about uh, wh when you're open, what are your hours? So we open every day at 10.30 a.m. Um, between Monday and Wednesday, we close at 10. Thursday through Saturday, we close at 11. And on Sundays, we close at 9. Right, okay. Now, you talk about <clears throat> some great food, but also some great entertainment that you have here. Um, and I, I, I want to talk about Saturday nights you have entertainment, right? Yes, ma'am. So we actually recently just started our summer concert series. This is something we're probably going to be doing every year from here on out, just because it's been a good turnout so far. Um, every Saturday, we host live music inside our restaurant, and we put it at the very front right when you walk in the door. Um, we've had some local names like uh, Nick Stewart, Rick Stone, um, we had Greg Pardon and Ryan Scoggins come in and play for us as well, and we've had some good turnout so far. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Great place to come mm -hmm. entertain after you've been to Burr Park on Friday. Come over here to Jefferson's on Saturday. Yep, that's the idea, to continue the music theme for downtown. We've also started to do on our Monday nights, we do bingo night. Um, that's been very fun. You know, we have uh, kind of a saying. It started off in our Fort Payne location, but uh, people say they came for the wings, they stayed for the bingo. So, <laughs> yes, ma'am. But no, that's been a good turnout. It's just something entertaining. We do that from 7 to close every Monday, and that's going to go all the way, I'd say, probably throughout the year. Yes, now, let's talk about the specials because you have a lot of the specials that's going on, like a Wednesday wings, is that right? Yes, ma'am. One dollar wings every Wednesday, and that is all day long. And if you order, if you call in to go order, it actually applies through the call-in order as well. Um, so for like, uh, I guess to continue with our Mondays, we do a buy 10, get five wings free. So if you buy a 10-piece wing, you can get five for free. Um, yes, ma'am. That's on Mondays. It goes right in with the bingo theme. Um, we have su we do margarita Mondays. We do big margarita flights for twenty bucks. You can get four different flavors and different specialty margaritas. We do um, on Saturdays. We have seafood Saturdays. So you get two dollars off any of our seafood items. That includes our fresh oysters, all of our shrimp baskets, our fish tacos, anything like that. So um, yes, ma'am. We've been trying to. We have tender Thursdays. Get two dollars off our tender baskets. And it's, yes, ma'am. You have so much to offer here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'd say probably the number one thing we really like to push is our Sundays we do Kids Eat Free. So it's one child per adult. So 
you can come in with your whole family and get a pretty good discount for it. The idea is to bring your family, come and enjoy a good meal. So that, you know, that's the idea we like to push behind those things. Definitely so, and so fresh. I want yes. to say that. Always, always fresh, never frozen. All of our meats in-house, they always come fresh. We prepare our burgers in-house every morning. Everything comes straight out of it, and you'll never see us cook frozen meat. Now, I know it's a little warm right now while we're doing this, but you also offer outside seating. Yes, we do. We have a front and a back patio. And I'd say during those live music events you'll have downtown on Fridays, it's just as good of a seat as it, as it is over in Burr Park, just a block away. Um, and our back patio offers kind of a little bit of a different vibe, too, kind of attached to our bar setting. So it's pretty cool. Yes, ma'am. People right. enjoy it. Right. It is a little hot, but people enjoy it. Uh, definitely so. Now, what about, um, uh, we're sitting actually in the bar area. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you offer. I know you mentioned margaritas, but do you have a full house? Or? Yes, we do. We, we have a full full bar section. We've got 16 taps on draft. Um, I'd say our specialty for Dalton down here is a lot of tequilas. We have a different variety of those. Um, we have two full drink menus, a margarita menu, and a lot of signature cocktails as well. But I would say uh, the I would say the number one thing we give off is our 16 taps on draft. People love them. We've got two Dalton uh, Brewing Company features uh, with the Go Mango and then the Blonde that they have, and it's delicious. People come here all the time for that. Yeah, definitely. So now, um, also, uh, you mentioned um, wings. What about your burgers? Yes, what about um, six ounce patties? Like I said, we prep them fresh every morning. They're delicious. And I mean, that is one of our, you know, a lot of people are moving to these little smash burgers. That's one thing we like to stick strong with. We've got a big old juicy burger if you're ever in the mood for one. And then our oysters. Like I said, we shuck them fresh every morning as well. Um, similar principle, always fresh, never frozen. And that's something it's almost like you're sitting by a beach and you're getting some fresh oysters. Exactly. Yes, well, I look around and I see all the t how many TVs do you have? We have 36 TVs in here, two 70 inches and 65 inches for the rest. Yes, oh, ma'am. Goodness. 36. 36. Oh, yeah. You got to find your, your game on one of these. Of course. Like I said, during football season, especially all through the fall and even through the spring, we have our TVs set to something different every single channel. And it's a good time. So right. come, come football season, we'll have every game on, especially yes. through basketball season, March Madness. We've got every single one wrapped. Yes, and, I, and I do like it because you have different areas here that does have different vibes. Like you've got the, more the family atmosphere in one, and then you've got the, the bar area, and then you have the outside. So there's always something different happening here when it comes to music, it comes to mm -hmm. variations of places to sit. Of course, yep. Yeah. And like I said, I always, I always like to preach, we're a family sports restaurant. You know, we want you to come in with your entire family, but we can also accommodate to if you would like a beer, if you would like a drink. And now that we're doing kind of our live music events and our bingo nights, things like that it kind of keeps things more entertained okay. also up front we have little kid play areas we've got giant jenga we've got a big connect four section and a little playhouse too so it we're very welcoming we want the whole family to come wow well thank you so much jake for letting us come out here at jefferson's don't miss it in downtown dalton your business on TV, contact Elliott Media at 706-529-4237.